What's up, guys? The Toronto Globetrotter in here. We're in Florence, Italy right now. Uh, just behind me here, I'm by the Santa Cro. Uh, it's a church um, in Florence. One of the famous monuments and landmarks here. Uh, right now, I'm gonna go to this restaurant, famous for its lasagna. Check it out, see how it tastes. Um, so I'll catch you guys there. So my chase for the lasagna was an epic fail. So I ended up with this pizza. Um, I'm right now in a restaurant in Florence uh, called the Canto del Romino. Um, so the, it's a high quality place. Got an espresso here. So let's dive in and try this salami pizza. restaurant or restaurante as they say in Italy uh, pizza was good uh, espresso was really good as well woke me up now I'm ready for action um, yeah one thing to note about Italy and Europe and as a whole uh, one place is busy you can't go wrong with the other like, there's always places to eat something to see and, uh, that's the good thing about Europe it's like Every every cafe is like beside each other. Every pizza place is always beside each other. But uh, now uh, we're off to check out the Duomo, which is a famous uh, cathedral in Italy, as well as the uh, Michelangelo and David statues. So let's go check it out. Just walking in the streets and look what store I come across. <laughs> so you know I gotta check it out. Definitely. Got the Stone Island booklet from the store. Decided to grab a card. If you're ever in Florence, Italy, 
and check out this Stone Island store. There's uh, the address. So other than being known for its wine, Florence is also known for its gold. Lots of stores on this street. All selling 18 karat pure gold. With uh, high-end watches like Hublot, Rolex, Petit Philippe. And as you can see, lots of people, tourists, buying. And along with gold, there's great sights as well. Italy is amazing. Italy. It was a great day, a uh, great place for sites, monuments, uh, artifacts, food, wineries, whatever you need, you name it, you can get it here in Florence, Italy. Um, so until next time, the Toronto Globetrotter out. Peace.